Hello, welcome back everybody. Um, today I wanted to discuss that like it's good I guess like the stories that I've been sharing with you all through my experience has kind of uh, brought attention to how it's energetically in your favor to air out your dirty laundry as they say. Um, for example, I've learned that from my teacher, uh, Ralph Smart and Teal Swan, because I actually made a podcast or just an episode together where, you know, so, I mean, I guess this is just like trying to like, or exposing myself where it's like I was being a hypocrite and just trying to portray an image that wasn't real, you know, like that wasn't actually following what I was saying I was doing, so I was lying. I was trying to um, make it seem as if I was like on the correct path. Um, But as to say if that was the wrong path was because it led me here to like expose myself. So I was thinking of just expressing that like a lot of the videos of me like trying to go vegan or like going on this like uh, you know, almost month long, like water fast. And I didn't go through with any of those. Like I haven't built the discipline even in, even in the workspace I work in now. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's just like, I guess I just need to do this for myself. I mean, like, um, it's it's hard to say, you know, like without plan because I actually one of my first videos of me just talking to a camera was living life without plans and just like kind of going with the flow. And in a sense, that's kind of like in parts of your life is that's needed because we don't know what's gonna happen next. Um, but at the same time, if, if I never choose to put myself on a path and dedicate myself to a certain craft, then I'm essentially kind of just going in circles because I'm always going to be like in a roundabout, kind of not taking an exit or just taking a path to lead me to another place. I'm kind of just going through these options and not really fully committing to a certain thing um and that's even manifesting within the last couple days like i entered a couple tournaments for rocket league and i'm nowhere as skilled as um the people i play with um but at the same time i shouldn't i I don't expect myself to be like that because like i said i I haven't been practicing like that i haven't been uh, focusing on that part of my life but I see opportunity there for myself because it's something I've put a lot of time into. But the thing is, like, are we delusional about that stuff? Um, you know. Another example would be, like, me trying to change my environment. And, you know, I'm blessed with an environment that has allowed me to kind of just, like, um, just, you know, allow myself to flow, you know, like, I don't, but at the same time, that's just, like, the, what you guys see, the light, like, the light side of, like, the situation, whereas in the shadows, you know, like, I don't necessarily find myself in the most positive environment while I'm inside my house, because as, you know, individual with other individuals that want to live their life the way they want to live it, it's very hard to be at an equilibrium with other energies when, for example, I'm so aware to know that I'm barely working on this journey to accept myself and just this journey that I'm on. So, and that's hard to do when you have, let's say, a negative energy that is keeping you away from where you know you wanna be. So for that, I mean, like I said, in, in a situation like this, it's essential to, for me at least, like it's essential to like let 
life flow because I don't like consider myself like on path or so I guess that would be the consequence to like allowing life to just flow and like I think the saying goes like life doesn't happen to you it happens for you so I mean I just choose to be in that pro noia where, where it's like everything like you trust in that everything's working in that favor of you but at the same time that's kind of like me thinking about my ego because I have I, I have a huge ego but I've like feel like I've shattered it a couple times of so like I, I've like fought back my ego like because in some sense like I want to keep a part of my ego because that's if I don't have that then I'm selfless you know I don't for example know who I am because that's like um, part of that but it's interesting because it's like well is this part of my journey like do i have to kind of just let go of that image that i'm portraying right now even and like what's next like am i supposed to like not like focus on myself but more so the message but my message is unclear for me because even yesterday i had a breakdown um I, what helps me think a lot is beats I usually, i've been listening to lo-fi beats um, it depends on the beat like there's moods for every I mean there's a beat for every mood um, and I just was freestyling like just things that to myself you know because I, I just felt like like in the moment where I felt like I was gonna break down and just like stay quiet within myself and not express that and not hear what my mind has to, wants to tell me um, you know in this life works for example you question the things that you even like follow like you know I've questioned my sexuality I've questioned um, you know if the people at home even like really care for me you know but I have to understand that I can choose that like you know and also to understand that other people can only share what they have lived through so far and I feel like in my unique path um, like it's essential to share because I know there's others that are profoundly more away from the path because they're creating their own path but through the programming of others and seeing others going through that programming and being the person that is trying to unwind all the programming um like it's just it's just the battle you know like the battle between you and like your for example my laziness and my motives you know like like For example, this is an opportunity for me, but it's on, it's continuing the journey that I'm just on, like, which is like, okay, make a video, post it, hopefully someone sees it and finds some value. If not, it might be a complete waste of the time. I truly apologize. I'm just living my journey. Um, so through that, you know, you find yourself in the present moment. And here you are, like, you get to decide what to do next, like, you know. Like, even today, I already started off my day. Well, one of the, th well, one of the aspects of a day, which is my food intake, I, I ate something in the morning that I probably shouldn't have ate. Um, but, you know, I can't, like, I can't do anything that has already happened so unless I take the extreme to, like, you know, get that out of my system in an unhealthy way. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to enjoy the sun right now. 
Um, it's been a while since I've been able to kind of just sit and just kind of like process thoughts, you know? Um, I passed by a tree today with purple flowers and it, and it fell over. Like I was listening to, to a video and I heard like a crack, you know, and I thought it was just like a rock falling or something, you know, something fell onto a car, you know, that are parked, but it was a tree cracking. And then like, I looked back, well, yeah, I, I noticed that my uh, my dog, uh, like kind of scurried like in front of me. And yeah, the tree fell over. I don't like, I, it was pretty intense. I actually like those trees. Uh, it's like with the, they're not wisteria, I think, but it's it should it has to be like a cousin of it. But um, but yeah, um, so that was interesting today. It's unfortunate. Um, that tree had to, you know. Um, so speaking of trees, I mean, so I consider self myself, especially coming from. A city that has a bunch of palm trees like I think of myself as a palm trees at times you know you stand tall but you like kind of sway with the wind you know but over time you know you get too tall and if you're like if your trunk and your body is not like strong enough you know you're gonna start tipping over to one side and just like falling over so that's why recognizing that we can have like tendencies of certain things like a tree uh, as a being going through a human experience we ch can choose to kind of you know take the breaths to slow down and kind of just you know enjoy this present moment like um, to say that I'm putting in no effort is a lie but to say that I'm putting in what I can you know that's the truth you know like because I'm doing the best I can right now you know for somebody or for even myself um, so if yeah if you found this any useful you know please um meditate on the positive thoughts that you've had today and just um or even just you know just let it um kind of contain you like that feeling of just like um being in in control of aspects that you know you can control and certain aspects you don't and that's gonna be that um so for now i'm just gonna continue kind of just um being in the sun for a little bit and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and maybe get on twitch later and hope to see y'all some see, <laughs> hope to see some of y'all there and um yeah enjoy the rest of your day and i started saying that the breath is all it takes to keep going but the breath is also the revolution because you know with all this covid and stuff like that like there's a lot more behind it that I don't even know about and I haven't done the research on, but there's obviously some people that don't want people to be free and um, these breaths are the revolution. Um, unfortunately, it's had to come to that, but that's what it is and I choose to think about it that way because as long as like we're breathing and keeping ourselves uh, in a state of like elevation like that's gonna keep us um in opportunity to step into what's to come especially when as a collective we're able to step in together and i think that's what i'm reaching for until then i'll be on my journey and i hope you stay on yours <laughs>